Hey everybody, I hope everybody is doing well today. Um, just going to do the usual and see what um, God's Spirit has to say to us today. Anchor. Clover. Fox. Key. Snake. labyrinth so I feel like someone divine masculine or divine feminine not sure who at this point is on the quest to find out the truth I feel like someone did something or accomplished something um, that they shouldn't have been able um, to do. So there's some suspicions. This card makes me feel like someone was successful when they shouldn't have been, um, which leads someone to believe that there has been deception involved. I keep hearing the word theft. So someone believes that this um, newfound prosperity is the result of some sort of betrayal. Hmm. So, but whoever this is that's on the quest, they're not stopping. They are bound and determined that they're going to find out the truth no matter what it takes because they are convinced that however this person um, has accomplished the successful feat, feat um, is because they have um, committed a nefarious act. I don't necessarily feel like this person has done anything. I just think um, that this person has just persisted and not given up. It's like they saw what they wanted and they went after it. I feel like whoever is on this search, I feel like they may be the one that's found out to be in the wrong. So I feel like accusations may be flying, but I don't feel like there's any proof here. Okay, so let's dig a little deeper. 
This is almost like accusing someone of the of like sleeping their way to the top when it's been through hard work. That's what I feel. The energy I feel here. It's like accusing someone of achieving success through devious actions when it's not the truth. I feel like if there's any nefarious acts, it's not what this person thinks. Let's see. Seven of Wands. I feel like whoever is doing the accusations and is accusing someone of um, doing something that they haven't, they should stop now because I feel like this is totally going to backfire on them. Six of Swords. Ace of Swords. High Priestess. Hmm. Queen of Pentacles. And the Lovers. Yeah, this person is on a quest, but I feel like, and, and they're convinced that something has happened that hasn't happened. Um, yeah, like I feel like people are trying to say to this person, and I'm almost feeling like it's feminine energy or it's against feminine energy so this could be the karmic is doing this or even divine masculine is doing this to divine feminine um or to karmic feminine it's like i know that you're not this good or like there's no way that you could be this successful and they're convinced of it that they're going to find out some truth. And I feel like this new way of thinking about this situation just started. Whoever this is, they're watching. And I feel like these two cards make me feel like it's they're watching Divine Feminine or they're watching the Karmic Feminine. Feminine energy is being watched right now. Because someone believes that they shouldn't be as successful as they are. They're convinced, these cards make you feel like absolutely convinced of this. No one can say anything. They're on a quest to find out the truth. And they think that they're secrets. So they're digging. They're digging into, I feel like this is against divine feminine. I, honestly, I feel like this is the karmic doing this. The karmic is looking into divine feminine because she knows, these two cards make me feel like she knows that Divine Feminine's walking away with Divine Masculine. 
without a shadow of a doubt. And I feel like these cards are represent her just figuring this out. Like she's just come to the realization that she's lost the fight. So now she's on this quest to figure out some sort of secret that is going to betray Divine Feminine because she's trying to disrupt the path um, between her and Divine Masculine. But I feel like the information that she's going to find out that she thinks is the truth is not going to be the truth. So when she comes forward with these accusations, she's in the end going to look silly uh, because it's not going to be the truth. So what she's really going to be doing is driving Divine Masculine towards Divine Feminine. Um, because she's coming forward with lies. I just, I feel like she's like so desperate that she may even be like hiring someone um, to investigate Divine Feminine, to watch her. Like these cards make me feel like that. Like she's hiring someone to investigate Divine Feminine, but whatever information she gets is not gonna be right. Like Karmic Feminine, I believe, is trying to wreck Divine Feminine's life, especially when it comes to her money. These cards, too, make me feel like um, Divine Feminine has known information in the past. Like, I feel like she's predicted this demise um, of the relationship between Karmic Feminine and um, Divine Masculine and that is why she's also so pissed and thinks that um, Divine Feminine's up to something because it's like she has secret information that no one should know. So it's like the Karmic Feminine is trying to do the same thing but the thing about it is Divine Feminine is doing this spiritually. Like the knowledge that she has is coming like from the spiritual realm. While the Karmic Feminine is getting her information, you know, from the physical realm. Hiring private investigators and so forth. So it's like... The Karmic Feminine is trying to do what Divine Feminine is spiritually gifted to do. Um, but she's doing it like in an earthly way. It's like Divine Feminine predicted the demise of the relationship and how it was going to lead to her and Divine Masculine being together. Karmic Feminine is now trying to do the same trying to, because Divine Feminine said, look, to Divine Masculine, look, this relationship is not going to work out. Here's why it's going to end. Car and Karmic Feminine is now trying to do that earthly to tell Divine Masculine, look, this relationship between you and Divine Feminine is not going to work. Um, it is going to end, but she's doing it earthly. That makes sense, hopefully. Um, 
So yeah, karmic feminine is trying to do through earthly means what divine feminine does through spiritual means. And I feel like the people that are surrounding Karmic Feminine are trying to tell her to give this up, but she's stubborn. She She's not going to stop. She's going to keep pushing forward till she comes up with some sort of information that she feels like is satisfactory. She's going to bring it forward thinking that she's like, you know, found you know, the Holy Grail or the thing that's going to bring Divine Feminine, you know, down in Divine Masculine's eyes. And that's going to wreck her whole life, her whole relationship with them. But what's really going to happen is here. It's just going to push Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine together. Because I feel like what happens when information comes from the spiritual realm is that it comes true. And what happens, you know, when things are found out through earthly means, you know, there's a high likely that it doesn't come true. So that's what's going to happen here. The information that's been brought forth um, from Divine Feminine came true. And so this information that Karma Feminine is bringing forth is going to be um, found out to be untrue. And this is what's happening here. It's like, it's the battle of who this is. Who's the spiritual one? Who's the one with the secret knowledge? Who's the one that, you know, has these abilities? That's what it is. Because I feel like Divine Masculine is drawn towards um, Divine Feminine because of her, the way she's able to tap into the spiritual realm that attracts her, um, that's what attracts him to her, and, uh, and I feel like Karmic Feminine's gonna lie about it, although she's, like, having her minions, I feel like calling them, do her bidding to try and find out this information, she's gonna, um, pass it off like she, you know, used her intuition um, to find out this information, which is not going to be true. So basically right now, Karmic Feminine is, um, a bit, uh, deluded in her thinking. She believes that she's going to be successful in this, um, plan that she's hatched up, but it's not going to be successful. This, these two cards, it's like, she thinks she's going to betray Divine Feminine, but really, uh, she's just going to play herself. Because what's really going to happen is she is going to um, feel like she's exposing Divine Feminine, but really, she's just going to be exposing herself. And she's going to shine the light on Divine Feminine and put her in a stronger position um, because her gifts or the things that she's told Divine Masculine about Karmic Feminine are just going to become truer. And this Divine Masculine is just going to be more confident um, in walking away from the situation. So really, it's a battle of who's spiritual and who holds the truth. It's like, who is the truthful one, Divine Feminine or Karmic Feminine? When the, and the ultimate goal is who's going to have this relationship, Divine, Mask, or Divine Feminine, sorry, or Karmic Feminine. And I feel like... 
Divine Feminine is going to become out the victor because the information that she has given is the truth and the information that the Karmic Feminine is going to come up with is going to be deception. So there's going to be an extended to this reading. Um, if you're interested in purchasing it, you can find it on my Vimeo channel and the link will be in the description. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.